Listen and practice. Please use headphones. Listen. The old postman, who was only two years away from retirement, wrote his old bicycle laboriously, the letter he has to deliver to the new address. Now you practice. Listen. He knew the whole village inside out, but was perplexed that somehow this address seemed to have come out of blue. Now you practice. Listen. Postman stopped his cycle and put the stands on and, holding his hand over his eyes to shield from direct sunlight, searched the few houses opposite. Now you practice. Listen. The houses were, in that village, far and few. He located the number appearing on the envelope and slowly made his way. Now you practice. Listen. He knocked on the door and waited for a response. A few minutes later, a young woman clad in a sari opened and looked at the postman who handed the letter to her bearing her name, Bumi. Now you practice. Listen. The girl's face brightened and she took the letter and asked the old man whether he would like to have water and perhaps tea. Now you practice. Listen. The old postman looked at the young Boomy and smiled and politely refused. Now you practice. Listen. As soon as postman left, Boomy locked her house and literally ran to the pond in the outskirts of the village, sat on stone bench and tore open thin vela and unfolded the letter and started reading. Now you practice. Listen. My dear Bumi, how are you? Can you believe that? In my service of nearly five years in the military, this is the first time I am writing a letter. Whom could I have written anyway? There was nobody till you came in my life. Now you practice.
Listen. Honestly, I don't know how to write letters, leave alone writing. A letter to wife to whom I am married only for 15 days. Now you practice. Listen. I have been called in a hurry to be posted at a very important time. We can't use mobile phones here and have to be very careful. So, I am writing this letter. How I wish I could talk to you and listen to your voice, Bumi. Now you practice. Listen. People write in newspapers and TV and social media to heap praises on us soldiers all the time, of course. We deserve it as we do sacrifice a lot, but what about sacrifices made by the people who are left behind, mothers, wives, fathers, children? Now you practice. Listen. On my way to the place of my posting, I had to wait for a day in a small village. I observed that a woman was standing in front of her hut perhaps waiting for her daughter, son to return from school which I was told is very far. Now you practice. Listen. She waited and waited, and even as I watched, I could sense the anxiety building up from the expression on her face. When finally, she saw her son coming, she virtually ran towards him to hug. Now you practice. Listen. That scene reminded me, what about that mother who has sent her son to the border, or wife who has sent her husband, like you, Bumi, for months? Sometime, we will not be able to communicate. Now you practice.